Hey there! Welcome to day 10 of Inktober and Drawtober. The prompt for this one was Feathered Howler, and as you can kind of probably already start to see, I just kind of thought of a, a screech owl for this one. And I went a little bit crazy on this one. I went. Uh, I didn't stick to my under sketch all that strictly. Um, and I went for kind of like a blocky, almost um, like a carved stamp kind of feel to the line work. I don't know, I really experimented and went crazy, and I kind of broke some of my rules that I set out for this Inktober to make everything look more uniform, but I don't really regret it. I don't think it takes away that much from the overall Inktober pieces that I've done. It was just something different that I did. Uh, so you can already kind of see it doesn't, the color of the paper doesn't show up quite as well on the camera as it does in real life, but I'm using green cardstock for this, which I actually bought to use with totally different mediums, but I just haven't gotten a chance to because I've been doing all this inking stuff this month and I just felt like using it and because the marker that I was using as a base, uh, I already went in with the Copic, but, uh, that was the first like green marker that I started putting down. Anyway, since it was green, I thought it, I might as well do green paper, I don't know. So I, I also realized that in my pencil case, I just have a lot of randomly green, a lot of like green art supplies, and I'm not sure why, because it's not even that it's my favorite color or anything, but I think it's just, it's just like really by chance what I happen to have in there. I just had like a green Sharpie that I got at a convention for, you know, just doodling and stuff. And um, then I got, I had like a couple of green Crayola markers in there, which I've been using to sketch. It's really fun. The like triangle, triangular tips on them. I don't know. I've been kind of having fun sketching with those a little bit in um, like cafe drawing and stuff. And then I ended up like making these like tree branches, which I think turned out pretty cool, especially in the end. And I used, um, as you can see, my white jelly roll pen to make some white spots and stars and everything and like color in the owl's face and just some little details on the feathers. I did this one like this whole thing was really loose and I was going for kind of an angular style and I'm not sure I don't know I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I think even though it totally wasn't what I thought it would be in the beginning and then I did some white lines on the trees which I think really gave it this sense of dimension. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, this is starting to wrap up a bit and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and liked and watched at all because every time I see a new subscriber or a, like a, a like or something it just really encourages me to keep going and here is the invisible ink part which since it was feathered howler and the main part that it was like howling or screeching I kind of made little voice uh, like sound lines I don't know Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.